Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. The other day, <coughs> Megan, uh, Megan Markle made a surprise appearance at the British Fashion Awards and she gave out a an award to Claire Waite Keller the woman who did her gown uh, and she won Claire Waite Keller won British Women's Wear Designer of the Year okay uh, you can see here that Megan is wearing black nail polish okay that is a no-no that is a no-no. Royals are to wear, royal ladies are to wear nude or clear nail polish. Okay, so let's read some stuff. Meghan Markle and her growing bump just shocked the audience at the British Fashion Awards. Uh, she made an unannounced appearance at the British Fashion Awards awards at Royal Albert Hall in London for a special reason to honor her wedding dress designer Claire Waite Keller, Artistic Director of Givenchy with the British Women's Wear Designer of the, of the Year Award. All right. Um, this is really... Okay, so wearing this, this is flouting royal protocol. Okay, she flouts royal protocol a lot. Okay, and so they're kind of the royal renegades, and now they've been sent to Frogmore, and I kind of am wondering how far this is going to go. I'm wondering, is she missing Hollywood? Is this, is Megan just testing all the boundaries to see how far she can push the queen? Is she as intentionally establishing herself and Harry as the rebel royals? Okay, Prince Harry, he's no stranger to this. When he was 17, the red-headed prince uh, was forced into a rehab center after he admitted smoking marijuana and illegally drinking alcoholic beverages. So that's a real, they have a real no tolerance policy. At 27, Harry was, uh, TMZ released naked pictures of Harry reportedly stri playing strip billiards in a Las Vegas hotel suite. Uh, also, there's the, the thing where Harry dressed up as a Nazi uh, back in, I think, 2005. So, Megan has been constantly uh, flouting royal protocol. And now they're, they're like, banished. She, she had strong political opinions. Ireland uh, passed uh, abortion. Okay, so now they don't have to, like, cross the creek over to Britain to get their abortions. Yay. Uh... Okay, so it's okay for royals to have political opinions as long as they don't publicly share them. Okay, so that's a big no-no. She's constantly wearing sleeveless dresses, uh, and that's not allowed. You have to cover down to the past the elbows. Kate never wears anything above the elbows. Uh, a whole lot of this stuff. So let's just... Um, I kind of want to look at the royal... How, how does the queen feel about Meghan's surprise appearance? Is she pleased by this? I mean, they're just public figures. And the most important thing that uh, Meghan or Kate does is what does she wear? This is a big statement. We can't ignore this black nail polish and say, oh, um, she wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, now it does match the black dress, obviously. But it's a no-no. It's a royal no-no. It's so. How does the queen feel about Meghan and her black nail polish uh, at the British Fashion Awards? This is the queen. This is Meghan. Start out here. Queen. Meghan. Yeah. I got the 
player on the bottom. We'll just, we'll just read those. Let's write this down. All right, so how is the queen feeling? Well, she's the queen, high tower, mustard seed man. Uh, 13 and 9, 22, 23. Okay, so she is very committed to guiding and leading positively the royal family. She's not showing any upset here. She's not showing as upset here. Uh, what is Megan doing? Well, honest woman, heart, she means well. So this is 12, 13, 15, four clubs. But she's got a broken chalice. She's kind of like, I don't care. This broken chalice is she's not, she's breaking from the royal protocol and tradition. And she did it intentionally. Okay, and then hiding on the bottom, we have Trinity and Player, 11 and Three is 14, four diamonds. So she is kind of, player is the actor, actress card. She is setting herself apart. She is kind of setting herself apart. She's not being malicious. She's setting herself apart. So uh, it makes me wonder, you know, with all of the recent drama, Frogmore, they're banished essentially as far as they can send them to, like, the servants' quarters, Frogmore. Is Megan missing Hollywood? Is this, is this indicative of Megan, you know, missing her Hollywood life? As crazy as it, as crazy as it was, you know, the ups and downs. I mean, a lot of these Hollywood actresses and actors, they're drug addicts, a lot of them overdose. And a lot of these are very suspicious, but the fox turn came out upside down. That's interesting. And my deck is not reading upside down, so the fox wanted to come out upside down. Okay, so is Megan missing Hollywood? Fox, upside down, cornucopia, butterfly, water into wine. Butterfly is beautiful, and this is like fame. It seems that the butterfly represents fame and all of the material things, and the fox. Hmm. And water into wine. Eights are everything. Water into wine. Renewal, endlessly renewal. Uh, eight, yeah. Eight and twelve is twenty. Five spades blocked. And the fox is upside down. This is very interesting. She very much misses Hollywood and all the opulence and the fame. She very much misses it. And she wanted to taste the joy of it again by doing this. So she is very much missing uh, Hollywood. And the fox is upside down. Okay, the fact that the fox is upside down, it's kind of it's kind of out of her reach now. Okay, now she's committed to this path. She's a royal, so the fox is upside down. It's something she can only just taste it and refresh it. She's never going to stop being a former Hollywood person. But it's kind of that's in the past now because the fox is upside down. That's interesting. Is Megan feeling very restricted by the royal life? Is she really chafing uh, <clears throat> against the royal, all the royal restrictions? I mean, nail polish is not something I would think about, but I mean, I'm sure women do, but is she really chafing uh, against all of the royal restrictions. Ten diamonds, ace of spades. Wow. It's 
Is Megan feeling very restricted? Inheritance, straight razor, incubus, mercury. Yes, straight razor, all of a sudden. You know, and this adds 17, which is five hearts. Fence sitter reacting. So yeah, six spades is a bad relationship with all of the restrictions. Ace of spades, it happened just very suddenly. One day she was still a Hollywood starlet and living in the limelight and she's very much missing it. And then the next day, now she's a royal and everything changed all at once. Uh, and now she's part of the royal family. The royal family and uh, just very suddenly painful and very, this is very difficult for her. And Mercury is communication and deceptive talking. And so, yeah, it's kind of, uh, she feels very restricted. It's very difficult for her. A lot of, you know, kind of negative cards. She's having quite a negative relationship with all the stuff that she has to do as a royal on a daily basis. And, you know, Mercury is, it's also electronic communication. It's like television, being a royal on television, being a royal very publicly. It's very difficult for her, all these restrictions. Is she intentionally... Uh, pushing all the boundaries that she can? Is she testing all the boundaries? Is she intentionally to see where they lay? Is she intentionally, uh, is she trying to est establish herself as a rebel royal so that she'll have as much, is she establishing herself and Harry as the rebel royals? Okay, the man who will not be king. Harry is the man who will not be king. She's the woman who will not be queen, but she's a royal. And she's subject to all these restrictions. Is she establishing herself and Harry sort of intentionally as the rebel royals? Okay, so that she'll have more room to maneuver. Okay, Rebel Royals. Okay, Seven Diamonds, Finger of God is a long-term plan. Three Blackbirds, Handcuffs, and Snake. Snake winds its way under the situation. This is five and seven spades. Three spades, Scourge, Conflict. So she's committed to a long-term path and activities. Committing herself to a long-term path and activities. And the snake is very... Uh, clever, the snake, the snake in the Garden of Eden, deceived Eve into eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So that's pretty clever. Okay, the snake was the most intelligent of all the animals, okay, in the garden. And it was the most beautiful as well. Um, so she is committed to a long-term path. Finger of God is a long-term path. She, she wants, she's trying to establish as much freedom for herself as she can up front. She is really intentionally uh, setting herself as the royal rebel uh, so that she can kind of do what she wants and so she'll have as much freedom as possible so that she's not restricted because she feels very restricted. And she is missing Hollywood. And she is missing all the opulence and the fame and the limelight. Uh, and, and the fox is upside down. It's just lost. It's gone. Will, this, will the queen and the crown succeed in uh, bringing Megan and Harry back into line better. Because I actually think Frogmore is a punishment. They're kind of, they're being banished. They're kind of, they're being banished. They're being punished. So, uh, 
is the crown, is the queen and the crown, and Charles, Charles and the queen, are they going to succeed in bringing Meghan and Harry back into line? More so. Cross. Crossroads. Olive tree. Okay. Okay. Are are the is the crown and the queen and 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 Charles, the future king, are they going to succeed at bringing Meghan and Harry back into line? This is 12 and 6, 18, 5 diamonds, step by step. 5 is change. 5 is change. So right in the center you have change. Yes, they will succeed. Okay, the Magi, the king, uh, and the crown, they can manifest their will. Uh, permanently, uh, in the deep-rooted situation, step by step, yes, they are going to bring her and Harry uh, much more into protocol. They're going to stop all the public PDA, all of the all of the the glitz and the glamour that is, you know, the all of it. They're going to bring them step by step back into line, definitely. Okay, so this is a temporary thing. This is her and Harry pushing all the boundaries to see how far they can go, like a child pushing all the boundaries to see how much room there is. And then the, the queen and, and Charles and the crown are going to slowly bring them back into line. So Frogmore is a punishment uh, for sure. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so Meghan shows up at the British Fashion Awards. Okay, how's the queen feeling about it? She's totally cool with it. She's just running the kingdom. She's really cool with it. She's just proactively, the king is active. Okay, and it's, is it okay for the queen to show as to have a mail card? Yeah, she actively has to run the kingdom and she's just doing what she needs to do uh, on a long term. This doesn't bother her at all. There's no trouble here for her at all. Uh, Megan is intentionally being rebellious. Okay, she's an actress and she's she's working everything together. She's really running a plan here. She's she's running a plan. She wants to see how much freedom she really has. Okay, in the black nail polish and this latest act of uh, breach of royal protocol is quite intentional, very intentional. Is she missing Hollywood? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. She just wants to drink again from the cup, uh, but it's gone. The fox is reversed. It's gone. Uh, the fame and the and the and all of the material things that come with Hollywood. She's really missing it. Okay, and that's why she did that. That's why she went back uh, to do that. Is she feeling very restricted? Yes, she has a very bad relationship with all these restrictions. Uh, and all of the appearances, keeping up all the appearances, it's very difficult for her right now. Uh, is she trying to establish herself and Harry sort of as the rebel royals? Yes, definitely. She has a long-term plan that she's committed to, and she's following a course of action. Okay, current actions, long-term, she's very committed, and... She's really very strategically plotting this to see how far she can go. So yeah, she's kind of she's kind of working the rebel royals thing and she's pushing it as far she's trying to push it as far as she can go until they really pull her back. But they've already sent them out to Frogmore. Okay, they haven't moved yet, so there's still time, they're still working that. But she's doing this very purposely, very intentionally. And along those lines, I'm not sure she's even telling Harry what she's doing. She's probably denying all of it. She's denying it to everybody. Oh, no, blah, blah, blah. You know, and that's how that game is played, uh, which is why I find it so fascinating because this is reality. This is Jersey Shore reality. This is, this is Royal Rebel Royals reality. This is how stuff really works. Okay, 
is the Queen and Charles, are they going to pull Meghan and Harry back into line slowly? Yes, over time, absolutely, they know exactly what to do. They're not even rattled. I mean, the Queen, this is change right in the center. And everything is just very solid. And the Queen and the Crown and Charles are absolutely in control. No problem. They know how to handle this kind of rebellious, childish behavior. It's no problem at all. Kind of a very interesting reading. I, I really enjoyed this reading. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.